Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use if else in Robot Framework. Now, if else is a conditional statement which runs a different set of statements depending on the expression is true or false. So when you use if else, uh, you use it with the expression and if that expression is evaluated to true, it will run certain set of statements that, that you specify with that particular uh, evaluation as true or otherwise if it evaluates, if the expression evaluates to false, it will run another set of statements that are specified in the else clause. Now, Robot Framework has the built-in library for this functionality. There is a keyword built-in in the Robot Framework that you can utilize to implement if-else conditional statement. And you can also have multiple else-if clause with uh, the if-else with the keyword that is specified in the uh, Robot Framework. And you can also have the else clause. So. Uh, the keyword that is available in the robot framework to implement the if else uh, is the run keyword if so this is the keyword that you'll ut utilize and then two spaces then the condition okay so the expression that you specify which if evaluates to true so what will happen is you once this keyword is found run keyword if so you specify the condition if this condition is true then this keyword one will get evaluated or it will the keyword one will be run if this condition this expression here condition is equal to some data evaluates to false it will come to else okay uh, else if so there will be you know like multiple uh, else ifs that you can have and at last you can also have else so it will come to the second line else if then there is another condition that you can specify so condition is equal to some other data right so in that case, if this condition get, is evaluated to true, keyword true, keyword two will get executed. In case it is evaluated to false, it will come back to the else, which is the third line, and then it will run the keyword three. So that's how the if else is being implemented in the robot framework. Now let's understand how this uh, if else will be implemented in the actual script so let me open pycharm here okay so now i have already uh, documented the test case here with the if else uh, demonstration so what i am doing is i'm i have defined the variable so i have used the sample website source demo.com and let me open this particular website so i can walk you through what exactly we are doing in this particular script so here on this particular source demo website you have these username and password that you can utilize so i'm just using standard user and secret source to log in right so if you see my script here um, so i'm opening this particular url okay source demo in the chrome browser then maximizing the window then i am using input text keyword um, two spaces right so input text um, two spaces and then in the username field okay so username field is this field if you just right click in your chrome browser and click on inspect you will be able to find the id for that particular um, web element so i have used this username id okay in my script so id colon username and then uh, two spaces and passing in the standard user username okay which is the username that is specified here then similarly for the password i'm using the password so i'll just right click and inspect on the password field you can see the id is password so i'm just using id colon password for the locator and the password i'm passing and then i'm clicking on the button uh, login which you just right click and click on uh, just highlights the button so if you just right click and click on copy xpath so this is the chrome browser it has this default functionality to copy the xpath and that is the xpath that i'm utilizing to click on the button so once i'm logged in on this particular website 
okay i am here what i am doing is i am uh, counting the number of um, items on this particular page okay so how i am doing it i am just uh, using get element count keyword okay and then i have specified the path the x path for the uh, this particular list okay so if i just um, right click on any of the location here click on inspect okay uh, you can see that these are all the inventory item right so these are the six item below this inventory container okay so this is the inventory list class so what i have done is i have created the x path which has all these web elements so if i just copy this x path and command f in this particular space here or control f if you are using windows and i paste this path you can see that uh, it is basically highlighting uh, six one of six web elements with this path so basically this um, x path will fetch the number of items that are matching uh, or that are below this inventory list so there are six items so it will get that count and that count will be stored in this scalar variable items on page now i'm using this run keyword if which is the keyword that is available to implement if else in the robot framework so i have used run keyword if two spaces and then items on page okay so i'm using the condition here so i if items on page is equal to 10 right so in that case it will two spaces it will run test keyword one and where is test keyword one it is in the keyword section so in the keyword section it will what it will do is it will just log to the console this particular statement executed keyword one found items as expected and then it will close the browser then else if if the item is less than 10 then it will um then there is and clause as well so which i have used so let me first so because you can see this is pretty lengthy uh, line here so in a robot framework you can simply with the if else you can simply change the lines so as we have seen in the slide so you just uh, put two spaces after keyword right the test keyword one hit enter uh, three dots and two spaces right similarly after before this else hit enter three dots and two spaces right so now you can see that it is very well formatted so run keyword if this is the conditional statement if it evaluates to true it will run keyword one if it evaluates to false it will come to the second line else if uh, test I test on um, items on page is less than 10 and items on page is greater than six so this is the another condition that i have utilized in that case it will run test keyword 2 and it will come to this test keyword 2 and it will log to console executed keyword 2 found less than expected items so what this test high level is doing uh, is doing basically is i'm verifying that if there are less than 10 items on page um, my test case fails right so this could be a scenario so just hypothetically i'm trying to test that particular scenario so in that case it will just log found less than expected items and else so if this condition also evaluates to false it will come to test keyword three okay so that's the high level um, test case that has been implemented for if else so the this keyword run keyword if is the main uh, keyword that you'll utilize to implement if else in a robot framework and then you have the condition that you specify and the keyword that you want to run now run keyword if is the keyword that is available in the robot framework so let's go to the library so this is this keyword is the keyword available in the robot framework library so if you just go to robot framework documentation and here if you go to libraries this is available in the built-in library okay so built-in click on view 
and find that particular keyword so run keyword if if you click on that you will see you need to specify the condition right and then um, the keyword that you want to specify so run keyword if the condition and then some action or the keyword that you specify so that's how you will implement if else in robot framework so let us execute this particular script and see the if else clause in action in the robot framework so let me change this test to if else demo as the name of the file so if else demo dot robot and hit run and then we'll analyze the results so it will open the source demo website maximize the page it has logged in and counted the number of items and accordingly it has executed the keyword right so if else demo and here you can see the test case has passed so let's go to the report and analyze the report so let me open this particular report and here you can see that it has input username password and then clicked on a button and then this is the keyword for the if else clause and it has found the items so items on the page are six right so it has counted the items and then it has came to the run keyword if so that this is the if else um, block so run keyword if and here it evaluated this condition it uh, evaluated to false because the number of items is six so test keyword one was not executed then it came to else if and in else if it basically figured out that items on page six is less than ten yes and items on page is greater than six so in that case six is not greater than six this evaluated to false as well and then it came to else which is the test keyword three and that's where test keyword three you can see got executed right so here you can see that executed keyword three exception right and that's the keyword that got executed with the if else clause so that's the brief introduction about the if else implementation in the robot framework and how you can utilize the built-in um library in the robot framework which has the keyword run keyword if to implement if else in the robot framework so hope you like the tutorial please do share and subscribe thank you for watching